Hey, it's Dana from StreamYard. I'm so excited to announce that we just launched custom layouts. You can now design your own high quality layouts inside the studio. Choose to customize our existing layouts or create your own. You can use one or all of the three critical components to custom layouts, a dynamic camera grid, a camera slot, and a media slot. Each element has its own set of customization options, ensuring you have complete creative control over the design process. You can design and save up to eight custom layouts, so they're easy to access for every show. Custom layouts are very easy to use. I'll walk you through it. Once you're in the studio, you'll now see a new plus sign and pencil icon for adding new layouts or editing current layouts. Let's create a new one together. I click the plus sign. When I'm setting up a new layout, I have the option to add an item. An item is either a dynamic camera grid, a solo camera slot, or a media slot. The dynamic grid is a unique responsive camera grid that adjusts based on the number of participants that are on screen. The dynamic grid will automatically position based on its aspect ratio to help you create a professional looking custom layout. You can only have one dynamic camera grid. A camera slot is just a space for one camera. You can have up to 10 of these different camera slots. A media slot can be used for screen shares or long form video files. You can only have one of these per custom layout. I'm gonna add a dynamic camera slot and I'm gonna select to preview it with five people because I have five guests. You can select to preview any number between two and 10 guests. Click the corners to resize your dynamic grid. Next, I'm gonna add a media slot. I'll click on add item, then media slot. You can only have one media slot per custom layout. Once you've designed the perfect custom layout for your show, hit save, and you'll be able to type in a name for this new custom layout. StreamYard will automatically create a new layout thumbnail for you, so you'll always know which layout to use. Here's another example of a custom layout. You can edit your custom layouts at any time. Just click the pencil icon here. You can even use custom layouts to feature a sign language interpreter in a camera slot in one of the corners of the screen like this. And when you save a layout, it's not gonna be active on the stage. You'll still have to select the layout to make it active. There's a lot of options when working with the dynamic grid. You can layer things forward or backwards. You can fit or fill the camera slots. You can choose the horizontal or vertical alignment, and you can use the participant previewer to see what it would look like with two, three, four, up to 10 guests in the stream. You can also delete the entire camera grid if you'd like. Custom layouts means fully customized to you. You can drag and drop all of these elements on screen to put them in the perfect place for your show. Use the square corner handles to resize your element and use the rectangle side handles to resize just the width or just the height. It's custom, so it's all up to you. To customize which layouts you see under the stream, click on the settings option, then click layouts. Uncheck the box for any layout you don't wanna have available to you. You can just select the ones you've made. You can also rename or delete them from here. We recommend setting up all your custom layouts in advance, but if needed, you can create new custom layouts during a live stream. Although you can't assign a participant to a specific box, you can click to drag and drop draw people into the right places once the layout is active. Comments, banners, and tickers will still overlay the stream even when you're using custom layouts. Now you can fully customize where participants show up in your stream, a game changer for live streams and recordings. Custom layouts are available on all plans. So get started creating your new custom layout today. We're excited to see what you create. Happy streaming.